What is up guys? Here we go again on another freezing cold freaktography urbex abandoned house adventure. Guys, I'm freezing my ass off today. It's so cold. I got to get out. I got to scratch that itch. And I know you guys are itching for new content every week. So I got to get out here, brave the elements to bring you guys brand new freaktography abandoned content. So here we are on the big comfy couch of Urbex. You guys are gonna love this one. If you guys like old classic abandoned farmhouses with old furniture like this, lots of peeling paint, really interesting wallpaper, you guys are gonna love this one. The upstairs is amazing. Main floor, just as good. You guys are gonna love this one. I am talking way too much. Let's get right to it guys. Cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. Okay guys, so we're just gonna get started right here where we did the intro in the living room. Got some nice furniture left behind. Couch, comfy chair. 1970s, 1980s puke yellow. <laughs> Got your TV tray table right there. So you can sit here on the chair, eat your dinner and watch your little tiny TV that's all the way on the other side of the room. And guess what, guys? Back in these days, you didn't have a remote control. You had to get up off your lazy ass and turn the dial to change the channel. Look at that old TV, right? By the way, check out this really sweet-looking flamingo. Wow. One of them lost their head. Poor guy. Got a random chair in the corner here. As you can see outside, lots of snow. It's freezing cold out there, just as cold inside, guys. Tattered blinds, curtains. Check it out, right? Got this beautiful light fixture hanging from the ceiling. Wow. Speaking of the ceiling, it's coming down piece by piece. And I'll show you the floor. There are the tiles from the ceiling that have come down in warmer weather. The humidity causes them to drop. And that's what you've got going on right here, guys. I'll zoom in on the wallpaper here. This one, kind of plain, but you guys will see in some of the other rooms, we got some good wallpaper in this house, guys. So let's move on to the next room which I think would have been maybe like a dining room area where they would sit and have uh, have dinner. Another comfy chair here in the corner. This one's got more like a swivel rocking chair type thing. The one inside there is just a plain stationary chair. I like this one better, to be honest with you. Curtains are still hanging. And as we go around, we have some chairs here. The kitchen table is gone. The, the dining room table is gone, but the chairs remain. Another light fixture in this room. Some more ceiling tiles that have dropped. There they are on the floor. Speaking of the floor, I forgot to show you guys the carpet, which is the same sort of puke orange, puke yellow. I guess it's puke orange. 
that you see on these chairs, this chair, the, the, the uh, couch, and then this disgustingly ugly carpet. <laughs> remember these things? If you guys remember these little uh, things that go on the arm of the chair so that you don't get it dirty and you, and you can wash this so that your filthy hands don't get the chair dirty? You don't see those anymore, eh? We had those on furniture when I was a kid. I don't know how often my mom washed them. Anyways, we're going to move on into the kitchen. As you can see, the wallpaper will get more interesting as we enter the kitchen. Got some gorgeous, what are these, marigolds or something? You guys would know more than me. What kind of flowers are those? They're orange. You guys tell me because I have no idea. Not a flower guy, okay? Moving along, we've got the radio. The radio in the kitchen. You've got your Inglis stove. This looks just like the stove that we had in my house growing up as a kid. Looks a lot like it. If my mom watches this video, maybe she'll comment and tell us. Yes, David, that's the stove we had when you were a little boy. Now, this is probably the stove that my mom had growing up. <laughs> this is an older stove for sure. All right. You got an old, what's this, like a washing machine here? This is probably a laundry room. Yep. Got the dryer in here. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of a pan around this kitchen here. As you can see, there's a table in there. Four chairs. It's a pretty good sized kitchen. I like it. Got a giant cobweb here coming down from the ceiling right there weird light right here huh and then there's a bathroom but the problem with the bathroom is that the door the floor is all warped so I can't get in to see the bathroom so I'm going to put the camera in here like this and then try and move around so you guys can see I can't see what we're looking at here. I don't see much. Okay, we're coming out. We're coming out, guys. All right. Now, you know how I feel about basements, especially in old houses like this. There might be some cool stuff down there, guys, but to me, I, it's not worth it to go down the basement because I could get hurt. Something could fall. Stairs could break. So... I'm not going to risk my life for a stupid YouTube video to show you guys the basement. Hopefully you guys can appreciate that. Very noisy in here, as you can hear on my, my feet here. All right. Anything in the cupboards, by the way? I didn't look in the cupboards yet. Nope. Empty. What this one? Nope. Empty. Not opening the fridge. Don't even ask. But speaking of fridge, look at this huge icebox freezer thing huge I mean it's already open I can open this nothing in there nothing in there guys all right we're gonna pan around the kitchen and then we're gonna go to my favorite part of the house which is the upstairs so we're gonna take a quick break and I'll see you guys on the way upstairs Okay, we're back from that quick break, and uh, there's the door we're going to go through. So, let's head upstairs, guys. I don't know much about the history. I don't know anything about the history of this house or the property. If it's going to be developed or what. I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. I know you guys often say, I wish he would give us some history. But guys, there's not always a history to be found in these places, okay? Big hole in the roof right there. 
Just want to look outside. Here, take a look outside. See that? Now you're outside. Now we're back inside. How was that? Is there a mirror on here? Nope. Bathtub. Got a nice big window to look outside. And then here, got some stuff in the drawer here. You got the shaver, and you got your combs, hair brushes, hair dryer. Got a nice picture in there. Wallpaper, floral print bathroom wallpaper, and a mirror. What's up, guys? I'm up, I'm up here. Hello, hello. Okay, what's up, guys? What's in here? Anything? Nope, nothing. All right. This room, guys, you're going to love. Look at this. Bed. Dresser. Look at this bed. Doesn't look at all comfortable. Probably loud as heck. Tiny. You can barely even move. But I guess you get what you get, right, guys? This dresser is beautiful. Love this dresser. Hope somebody salvages this thing, but when they uh, do whatever they're going to do with the house. Ooh, excuse me. We got some uh, different wallpaper in here. It's got some flowers and trees on it. All right. And we'll come down. We're going to check out this bed one more time. And then we're going to move on to the pink room. Watch this. The pink room, guys. Curtains are pink. The paint is pink. Everything's pink, except for this carpet. I don't know what's going on with this carpet here, guys. No furniture in this room, but the wallpaper, pink and yellow flowers. And then over here, we've got some peeling paint. Wallpaper starting to come off the wall. Original door knob and door fixtures. All right, you guys are gonna love this next room. The next two rooms, actually. And you'll see why in a minute. So this is like a teal green room. Now watch what you guys are going to love about this room. Nothing creepy about this at all. Look at this, right? Nothing creepy about that at all, guys. Totally normal. Got a window here. Take another look outside. Hope my car's okay. It's on the road. Plaster coming off of the ceiling here. Here you can see that they used to have a, a, a vent for the um, a pipe for the heating system. Oh. And we got one more room, guys. Let's go check it out. Another room you're gonna love. Still got the bed. Still made. Again, with the original doorknobs. And hardware. Got a nice picture here on the wall. Hey, look at that. And then you've got your curtains that match the bed. Take a pan shot from over here. Show you guys the bed from this angle. And we're going to pan up and see the picture and the door. 
Nice room, right? Very nice. All right, I'm not gonna uh, bore you guys by filming the walk back downstairs, but I will show you this hallway here and how badly decayed this house is. Going from up here and all the drywall and, and plaster has come off the ceiling, dropped down to the floor. It's just a decaying mess in this house here, guys. Just a mess. We got another hole in the roof coming into the attic, down into this here, and then down here, and then all the way down. Big, huge chunk of drywall came down here. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we're outside now, guys, and uh, it's actually nice outside compared to how cold it is inside the house. But uh, if we were here, not in the winter, this would be easier to see, but this is an old tricycle and it's all overgrown with weeds and stuff. This would look awesome if it was in the spring or the summer, even the fall, anything but the winter. We'll take a look at the outside of the house for you guys. It's actually warmer out here than it is inside the house. Now, I can't really show you much of the front of the house because it collapsed. Not a little bit, I can show you a bit. Yeah, but you can see the, the porch, the roof over the porch has collapsed, so we can't really see the front of the house very well, can we? It's too bad, guys. Got a lot of old trees here, too. Here we go, here's an okay view of the front of the house from over here. Now, as you can see, the original house is the brick and then they have the back add-on with the siding most likely anyways, that the original house was just this front brick part. But what do I know? Okay guys, that's a wrap on this one. Freezing cold, my nose is numb. Hope you guys have liked it. Super nice, classic abandoned farmhouse. Nice furniture, lots of really good decay, interesting wallpaper. Just a great, classic, old-fashioned, abandoned explorer. Just a great, old-fashioned, abandoned house. I love these kinds of houses, guys. And I hope you do. And I hope you do, too. So that's it. I got to go. A couple more places to go today, and then I got to go home and warm up. So what are we going to do? Like, comment, share, subscribe. That's it, guys. Got to go. Thanks for watching. Peace.